brought to you by VideoMaker Plus. Documentaries have a lot of components, and sometimes it's difficult to string them all together into a coherent story that brings insight and understanding. A story that takes your audience on a journey. Many would agree that if you want to make a great documentary, you have to pay special attention to the interview questions, or what we like to call the backbone of the story. Entire textbooks have been written about interviewing techniques and the most efficient practices. But in this video, we'll condense it all down so you can put some of those techniques into your doc making toolkit right away. You're making a documentary because you have a burning interest and curiosity about the subject matter. Come to the interview wearing your dunce cap, your I don't know anything hat. Don't show off what you know about the topic during the interview. Instead, lead with genuine curiosity. This usually produces the most honest and compelling answers. If you're in doubt about how to structure an interview, chronological interviews are best, where the subject is unraveling events according to a timeline. This gives you plenty of opportunities to encourage storytelling and ask, what happened next? Or why was that? Instead of relying on narration to connect segments or to give context, you can shape stories from the accounts of participants. The decision not to use a narrator carries important implications. Directors who want to edit out their questions in the final film will have to train their subjects to include a reference to the question in their answers to make sure the audience can follow along. During the interview, you'll need to listen for content and how that content can be shaped into a non-fiction story. Identifying the role that your subject has in the documentary will prompt the type of questions you'll ask. There's no use conducting a close and personal interview with your subject matter expert if her job is to provide specialized background information. Likewise, there's no use asking technical questions of your main character when an expert has the facts right at her fingertips. That being said, there's a lot of debate about whether a director should provide questions to the interviewees ahead of time. Be prepared, some interviewees will insist on it. For subject matter experts, this will be most useful, as they can dig up the necessary information to give you a confident and accurate account by the time they sit down in front of the camera. But if your interviewee is one of the main subjects of your documentary, submitting a list of questions might not be the best approach for mining authentic and emotional responses. If the interview turns out to be an engaging exchange, chances are your conversation will be more organic as you discover your subject's story. Your curiosity will likely take you beyond the line of questioning you originally had in mind. Now, if you do come to your interview well-researched and with a list of questions, know that your job is not to get through the list. Your job is to listen closely to the answers. You're in discovery mode. You're learning who your characters are and how their stories will inform your documentary. As interviewees unpack their tales, you're also listening for clarity and understanding. If something is not clear to you, you know your audience will be left scratching their heads as well. Time to ask a follow-up question for clarification. If you zone out just waiting for your subject to finish his answer, you're going to miss opportunities to explore more deeply. For example, if your interviewee is speaking in generalities, whether it's about hardship or good fortune, it's your job to ask for specifics. Can you please give an example of that? Have a conversation with your subject, not a question and answer session. Listen for complete ideas expressed in a way that they stand on their own. You're listening for content, for context, and for places to get your scissors in. Opportunities where you can make a clean audio edit. Open-ended questions help put your interviewee in explainer mode and avoid short, unusable answers like yes or no. Instead of asking, it must have been tough in the early years, Ask, what were the early years like? If a subject goes on a tangent with their answer, let them go. It could get scenic and interesting. And if you want to get back to the original question, it's okay to ask it again. It's best to encourage your interviewee to tell a story. Earlier, you said you were fired. Could you please tell me what happened? You can make it a rule of thumb that if you want to probe deeper beyond the facts, places, and dates, ask your subjects to tell you a story and to give plenty of examples. In most documentaries, especially character-driven docs, interviews represent the spine of the film around which all the other story elements are organized. Conducting interviews that bring insight and understanding is a skill that will come with time and many sessions of sitting down with engaging subjects whose stories make you want to learn more. To ask just one more question. Continued learning and practice, as well as taking refreshers on the basics, will help keep your skills sharp. Check out our video courses to stay on top of your game. Find a course by visiting videomaker.com courses, or click the link in the description.